Hey, what's going on you guys? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner and welcome to my makeshift office right here at Deer Camp in North Carolina. I'm up at Michael Goddard's place. All the guys are here. We're having a blast and we got a whole 17 pound ribeye. Not like one steak, but like the whole entire loin with the bone on and we're going to fry it. We're going to grill it. We're going to make a sauce and we're going to eat it. Here you go. What's going on everybody? Please excuse the dog noise in the background. I'm Robert Arrington. This is my good buddy Kenny. We're here at Deer Camp and they just showed up with about a 17 pound rib roast. All right, one end we're gonna make a, the roast out of. All right, this is the side we're gonna do the roast on. Let's take the bone off of it. I can tell this is your first time. <laughs> uh, 20 years experience. <laughs> Where did you work for 20 years? Publix. No way. Ooh, that looks good. Okay, so we called that a rib roast. What what are you what are you working on there? Just taking off some of the cap off the top side of the rib roast, and I see that they left a little bit of tendon on here. So let's get this off here. All right. That's an awful pretty knife you got there. Yeah, this is a Woods and Water. You can get this at um, Silver Stag. So now, if you cut this like that, those would just be ribeye steaks. Yes. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I brought the turkey fryer up here because we want, I wanted to fry a big ribeye. You know, the whole rib roast, I'm gonna fry the whole thing. We're also gonna cut the ribs off of the other side and grill them. Trick is, I wanna see what's better a whole fried ribeye or grilled ribeye. Then we're gonna make a homemade horseradish sauce and this stuff's gonna be amazing. Look at the confident knife handling skills. And why do you need to cut that off? Uh, it'll be very chewy, like eating bubble gum. Son, look at that, y'all. Okay, so we're going to grill, we're going to grill these ribeyes. We're gonna fry that big, huge loin, and I think we're gonna fry these too. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Oh, are you kidding me? All right, we're gonna take a little bit of rosemary here. Send it on down in this hole. Oh my gosh. All right, let's take some to the bottom side. The garlic. Here we're putting on a little bit of kosher salt. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, this looks so good, y'all. A little bit of Everglades. Oh, <laughs> this guy is on point. This Everglades is amazing. Looks amazing. Looks like good. watching an artist awesome. at work. It looks good. You know what's fun about this? Kenny is an awesome dude. He's an amazing meat cutter. He's also a great friend. And uh, yeah, here cooking with him. That's what Deer Camp is all about. You know, our friend Mike Goddard, who owns Goddard Grip. This is his home, and it's sort of like the it's like the guy's Deer Camp. Sarah and I were here a few years ago, 
And uh, this is always a great place to come. We love it. Painted oil is uh, the best oil to use for frying turkeys, rib roast, whatever you want to fry. So if you don't want to just automatically use three gallons, this is how you measure it. Take your rib roast before you season it. Set it in your pot. Fill it up with water so that it's submerged. Then take your rib roast out. Your water will go down because the, the rib roast will, will displace it. Turkey's the same way. Once you take it out, the, the water will go down. Make a mark right there. Pour the water out, dry it out, and fill your, fill your oil up to that level. And then you know when you put your rib roast in, it will submerge in hot oil. You're doing a good job. The number one thing, when you're frying something, don't let it overflow because then you'll have grease, hot oil exposed to open flame, which could lead to a, a huge fire and big time safety hazard. We're looking for a 350 degree heat. Oh, uh, it's, it's a good idea to um, let your meat come down to room temperature. Um, uh, it makes for a better... Um, uh. <laughs> okay, y'all. Yeah, take it over, Rob. <laughs> got to put on the uh, got to put on the um 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 counter um 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 um. <laughs> he was just telling me he's like it's so easy when somebody walks into Publix and starts talking to you. It's easy to talk, but whenever you when you point the camera on people, you get the ums. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do you do, man? What do you do? <laughs> um, nothing. <laughs> So what he was trying to say is, if you're gonna do a roast or if you're gonna do a turkey, whatever you're gonna do like that, it's best if you can let it warm up to room temperature. That doesn't mean you have to leave it out all day long. Just let it warm up to room temperature, then you get a lot, a much more even, consistent cook. All right, we're gonna separate these ribs here so we can cook them individually. So Kenny, what do you do besides cut meat? Uh, my real job is um, a Landscaper. Really? Cut grass. What's the name of your company? <laughs> Ken Winters Lawn Service. Ken Winters Lawn Service. And where do you service? The Brevard County area. Ladies and gentlemen whom live in Brevard County, this man will come over, cut your grass, <laughs> trim your trees, and cook you a steak. <laughs> Hashtag, that's a fact. Nothing goes wasted here. We even use the cat meat. The tails. That's called the tail? Yes. <laughs> that's the tail of the the rib roast. So on the whole roast, we get all those steaks, this big loin, all them ribs, and out of 17 pounds, that's all that's left over. Okay, so this roast is about eight pounds. We're cooking it for three and a half minutes per pound, which equals 28 minutes. Very important, 28 minutes at 350 degrees. When you put it in the oil, it will reduce the heat. So if it cooks in between 325, 340, that's dead off. There we go. That is amazing, y'all. All right, cool, you guys. Anytime you're cooking, especially like a big prime rib or a rim roast, you want to make an awesome sauce. Take mayonnaise. There's a bunch of us here, so heck, we'll make a big sauce like that. A lot of mayonnaise, plenty of horseradish. Put plenty of horseradish in there, like that. Mix it up, oh, yeah, it's looking good already. Take some uh, ketchup. Take some sour cream and then we'll take some uh, chives. Fresh chives would be good, but I couldn't find any fresh chives, so we'll just put some chives in there like that. Take you a whisk. Pretty good, missing one thing. Everglades seasoning is amazing in a sauce. One of you guys come over here and taste it and tell me if you think it's all right. You wash your fingers, haven't you? Yeah. Excellent. That's awesome. I'll pay you later. <laughs> Good stuff, man. Very, very easy, delicious, gonna go great on a prime rib. All right, so we got like 10 minutes left. Now we're gonna throw the ribs in there. This is, this is gonna be amazing. You can tell it's starting to smell good because the buzzards are showing up. <laughs> uh, 
Oh yeah, throw it all in there, why not? That's the only thing left after cutting up a 17 pound roast. Do it. <laughs> I mean, seriously, who thought I wasn't supposed to do that? This is gonna be amazing. Time to check it out. I hooked one of my ribs. Look at that. That's proper right there, y'all. Now, here's the key. Just let it sit there just like that, and we're going to wrap it up nice and nice and tight. It's kind of chilly out here, you guys, so we'll move this inside to just a normal ambient room temperature. We're gonna let it sit for 30 minutes. That will lock all the juices, all the flavor inside. The first rib coming out. Oh yeah, that looks good. Man, man those ribs look so good. Mmm. Man, look at that, y'all. Look at that. Mm. Looks tender, man. Oh, look at the garlic in there. All right, y'all, come get a piece of this love and goodness. You guys, I uh, formerly named him Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everything came together properly when no one's talking and everyone's piled up to the bar getting food. Gator Nation. So what do you think about the new hire, Coach Mullen? That was the best move we've made in a long time. Coach Mullen, you have your first public supporter right here. <laughs> These ribs are awesome. Yeah? Awesome. Fried beef ribs, brother. Never had them, but they're awesome. Okay, Kenny, so what, what, how, what was it like being a part of the video and doing all this? Good time. Yeah? Yeah, good time. All right. This is very good. You like the ribs? Very good, tender. Mm-hmm. I like this, sir. Steve, who's your favorite football player? Who's your favorite? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is just a great way to have a lot of fun, make some fantastic food with you and your friends. People ask me all the time, why do you love going to deer camp? I have not hunted one time since I've been here. I've just been up here having a good time, hanging out, fellowshipping, although I am going squirrel hunting this afternoon. Cooking good food and making memories like that, that's what it's all about. Go out there, get you a loin, make you some food, and leave a comment what you think. I love you. Take care. We gone.